Hi all, we are here again. Uh, thank you. Is there Claudia? Yes. Um, yes. The, the next presentation uh, it will be uh, seeing the world in 3D using open source um, by Claudia Ifrim. Uh, she is a passionate software engineer based in Bucharest. Her job is to design and build products based on different technologies, and she loves to work hand-on on products and see how an idea can become reality. So go ahead, Claudia. Feel free to start when you're ready. Hi. Just let me share my screen. Okay. And can you see my my uh, screen, my presentation? Yes, perfect. Okay. Hi, I'm Claudia Efrim, and I'm a software engineer at TerraSigna. And today I will um, talk about the way we implemented the portal in Joe Harmonizer uh, project. A uh, portal that is meant to to be to um, be used by the user to um, visualize and um, analyze the metadata of our data sets that were were uh, produced in in, uh, in this project. Um, the Joy Harmonizer project is a project that want to be uh, uh, an automatic mapping system. Um, that will also deliver data sets, thematic data sets uh, for the pan-European region. And inside this project, we develop a set of the thematic data sets, data layers that are open source and can be uh, used by uh, everyone. And uh, we also develop a portal that um, help the user to, to visualize both data sets. Um, we produce more than 20 terabytes of data. We um, compiled uh, the, some thematic data sets uh, for, for a time series of 10 years, of 20 years from 2000 to 2020. And we have, uh, um, various thematic sets based on the uh, data that we we could compile we cover we have land covers we have um, for 30 meters resolutions we have uh, um, also uh, maps that provide the uh, uh, vegetation uh, indexes um, forests and um, um, ports and airports, and also uh, pollution maps that are uh, based on the industries in Europe. All the metadata that we have for our data sets, it's uh, uh, on uh, uh, the job portal of the uh, European Commission. And for uh, e the easily visualization, of uh, all those kinds of data sets. We built a, a web portal where we offer a 2D visualization and 3D visualization also, where we try to also uh, find the best technical solution for um, rendering this data and made it, make it easy for the users that are non-specialists to to get insights on the data so the, the 2d viewer it's a real is um, using react components we choose the react because it's um, very easy to build encapsulated components and that can be easily scaled and the components are easily maintained we used 
open layers, of course, for the development of <laughs> this part. And um, the entire application is uh, based on uh, four main services. We have the front end mapping application that is built uh, on React. We have APIs that queries the data that we produce. We have Joe server and Postgre database for save, uh, for serving the data, respecting the OZC protocols, and uh, all the all the metadata of our layers are uh, are stored in the Joe network. As an infrastructure, we use Rancher to orchestrate the to orchestrate the con the Docker containers, um, Nexus, and Prometheus. Um, so we, as uh, I said before, we store the data, the metadata in Joe portal, and we produce REST data as GOC GeoTIFFs. The vector data is saved in a Postgres database, and uh, the metadata of each layer is saved in, in the Joe network. The templates for the raster data and um, uh, for the vector data are conformant with uh, uh, the standard, the, the ISO standard. Um, for the 3D viewer, that it's also the component that I developed in in uh, in this project, we used uh, WorldWind. That it's a web framework developed by. NASA, it's an open source project, and it was the best fit for our use case. Of course, I also contributed to this project before, and I know it uh, very well. We also tried to to compare uh, the performance that um, the implementation of World Wind in React uh, has pro has given us uh, with the Chessium 3D viewer, and um, of course we end up to 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 have them both in the application because they um, just to be a, a better way to to compare them and uh, the the way the uh, web world wind renders the the time series data offers a better performance for for the application uh let's have a demo because the project is um live we still have some um work in progress uh, features but uh, all the data uh, until 2019 it's already published and as well, the um, 3D visual, uh, visualizer and 2D visualizer. OK. Um, so just let me, I don't know if you, if you see the entire window. Yes. OK. We are providing data only for the European region. But we, of course, have some islands <laughs> around here. This is the, the 2D uh, component. The 2D and the 3D components are all integrated uh, in the same application and are all using the same data sources, layers, and background layers that uh, can be accessed from the uh, sidebar in, in the right uh, side of the window. So here we have the background maps that we can um, choose for the visualizer. Here we have all the layers that we compiled in, inside the Harmonizer project. And we also have four part of the layers. We we calculate uh, uncertainty and point and training points. 
for um, the metadata that we have. So we also have the NDVI. You have you can search here for layers. And for the NDVI, we have uh, also the time series covered from 2000, from year 2000 until the 2019. I think I have a, a yep, a lag in the connection. <laughs> okay, this is uh, the 2D visualizer, and here is the 3D visualizer that it's built uh, using the uh, web or wind. All the visualizations, the maps are have the same functionality. You can uh, pick a point and you can analyze the metadata for all the years. You, you have a um, window in the bottom of the screen. And here you can analyze all the values that are provided from the metadata of the layer. We also uh, have uh, the license that could be used for, uh, could be verified to, to, to use the data. We also have the, some data access information that you could uh, verify the how uh, the data is uh, generated, how can be be access and access, and how you can use it. This is a, a work that it's done by Gislab and Tarasigna. Tarasigna was in charge of, of the three D. Uh, implementation of, with uh, using world wind. You also have uh, geolocation, of course, that can uh, can show you the the data near your location based on the browser location. If you want to find more information. So of course, you can access directly the, the portal, but you also have a new section and some reports that details the entire process of generating the data sources, how the data sets are built, and what metadata are made available. And thank you for, for your time. And if you have questions, Either you could uh, write us or you could ask them <laughs> now. Thank you for your presentation, Claudia. It's been really interesting um, for all, all of us. And we have uh, some questions and we had a lot of reactions during the video. And I will, this is a, the first, is there a GitHub where to find this project? Yes, you have, uh, I can share my screen again. You also okay. have, uh, for the moment, it's part of the, the code, it's here. You have the GitLab repository. I, I will. Same. It's just yes. uh, it's the same uh, in the right side. On the sidebar, you have the maps, the layers, the repositories, Twitter, and <laughs> all the other. So you can uh, use the G GitLab from GitLab. Uh, yeah, well, from the GitLab from, from and the right it's side. It's public. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's public. Perfect. Uh, there is another. Yeah. Um, what was the biggest challenge in this project? For me, of course, the 3D visualizer, because it was the component that I built. But uh, of course, the the, the compiling of the data set was also a, a 
hard part in the project because it's uh, very time consuming and uh, we had to to find the data that covers the entire Europe and compile the the, the entire data set. Perfect, thank you. And the last one what we have here is the what is the main WebGIS engine in maps of dot open data science site. We have the um, Joe server that serves the the services, and we use the uh, for visualizing. I, I told you we use the World Wind and um, and the uh, Open Layers and Chestium, but the the Joe server behind the scene is the behind the scenes <laughs> perfect uh here the, is another one uh yeah no sorry i repeat so both session gs and worldwide are used yes we have um, two ways to visualize the data and again i will share my screen <laughs> okay Okay, you have um, this is the two D visualizer, and just a second to The only um, thing that uh, it's still pending is to test the performance between the way uh, the globes are rendered. And here on the two, uh, 2D, if you press, you have the globe of Chesium provided by Chesium. The data that you, you visualize on it is the same on 2D, 3D, on Chesium, and this, the the last icon with NASA is the World Wind implementation. So yes, we have two, two globes. <laughs> and Perfect. here you can easily see for time series when you have the data loaded, it's seamless for because we have a caching uh, mechanism that help us optimize the the rendering of the globe it's a performance yeah yes but uh, here on the implementation from chesium every time you we didn't manage to, to add a, a caching mechanism, but see, every time you make new calls. Perfect. Amazing project. And <laughs> we, have, we have another one. Um, has the Geo server performance been good? For the moment, yes, we had some issues when we uh, load the all the data, and we had also the um, all the viewers available. But for the moment, we didn't have any big issues that could not be solved. So I I will say yes. <laughs> Perfect. So, okay, uh, we don't have any question. Uh, we had a lot of reaction. Um, so thank you so much, Claudia, for your presentation. It was really good. Um, and now um, we are going to take a short break for a few minutes. And 10 o'clock, we will return for the next presentation. Thank you as well. Thank you so much.